So they want to add another four shot series of a vaccine to the 33 or so shots babies already, already have to get before the age of one. This time it's the meningitis vaccine, which will prevent one strain of bacteria that can cause meningitis. But there are other strains and other bacteria that cause most of the meningitis out there. And in these cases, it won't help. If we give the vaccine to all the children in the United States, they say it will save 16 lives a year. If the cost is $400 per vaccine series, and it's given to all 4 million newborn babies every year, that leads to 1.6 billion a year. So somebody has a potential for windfall profit, and that will pay for the salaries of hundreds of vaccine researchers, if not thousands. So let's look at this. You save 16 babies, I'm for that. You spend the money at the same time, I guess that stimulates the economy. Now we're not sure if there might not be a downside to the vaccine, like a chemical adjuvant uh, stimulates an autoimmune disorder, or any other of 100 other possible adverse effects, either in the short term or the long term, and that could kill or stricken 16 children or maybe even many more. I mean, we don't know. We don't know what will happen with the combined vaccines either. It's too much trouble to worry about that, combining 33 and adding more. The most incredible thing is they don't do long-term studies of vaccinated kids versus unvaccinated kids. And I guess the reason is there's no profit in that. Now, common sense tells me that if we spent that money on providing a nutrient-dense diet and foods to kids, we would not only reduce meningitis deaths, but all the other infectious diseases that cause disease at the same time and still stimulate the economy. That would be a win-win that is good and true and pure. Now, our healthcare system seems to be on the surface serving greed and evil. Now, we've killed 50 million babies in the womb with medical procedures, and now we want to spend 1.6 billion to save 16 kids, which may not even be true. It makes no sense unless the only goal is profit. Yes, America is the land of opportunity. If you're smart enough to grease the wheels, find a bacterial disease that kills 16 kids a year, develop a back vaccine that creates an immune response to that disease, do the study to show that kids will develop antibodies when you give them the vaccine, declare that we need to do this to save lives, get the committee members that recommend the vaccine, and of course their experts which you fund their research, and get them to recommend it. Show the CDC the antibody titer data and pictures, of course, of kids harmed by meningitis. The states will then mandate the vaccine. Of course, we first need to wine and dine the legislatures and give them legislators and give them a campaign contribution. Now, Johnny won't be able to attend school until he gets all the vaccines in the series. It's almost as good as being able to print money. This is Dr. Gerhauser. Thanks for watching.